Hi, my name is Penny Nixon, and I'm the founder of Etta Projects. My daughter Etta was 16 when she went to Bolivia as an exchange student. She died three months into her stay there. Etta Projects is her legacy, and for 12 years, we've been creating programs that make living in poverty a little more bearable. Etta Projects serves women and families in rural Eastern Bolivia where 63% of the population is below the poverty line and live without adequate water, sanitation, and access to health care. Bolivia is the poorest country in South America with the highest rate of domestic violence. 230 out of 100,000 women die from complications of home birth each year. Families work in agriculture where accidents are common and illness due to poor sanitation is endemic. Approximately 10% of households have toilets, while 90% defecate in pit latrines or open air, which contributes to disease that worsen chronic health and nutritional problems. There is little health care in these rural communities. Access to distant clinics is difficult, and frequently these clinics are ill-equipped. Hi, I'm Debbie Raniger, Executive Director with ETA Projects. We are so pleased to be working with Dining for Women to be able to provide health promoter training for 11 villages to respond to community health needs. After two years of training, these women will be able to perform life-saving measures, suture wounds, assist with childbirth, and administer antibiotics. They will be able to educate the community on disease prevention, family planning, nutrition, and child and adolescent health. Also, family planning becomes available in villages through local health promoters. Health promoters get the opportunity to teach reproductive health in schools, and the health department has agreed health promoters can provide the Depro Provera shot, giving women a discreet option for birth control. Not only will 11 communities now have basic medical care with this grant, we have seen secondary benefits to this project. After only two years of training, health promoters have a voice and they have learned how to use it. We've seen women take on new local and municipal leadership roles due to this program. Dining for Women will be supporting women to become leaders in their own communities. Attitudes also begin to change for men. In a machismo society, we must be careful with the shifting roles of women, but this program allows for gradual change. Only recently has the issue of domestic violence even been approachable, and our health promoter program opens the conversation while fitting in with cultural beliefs. Another secondary gain is how children begin to view their moms and women not just as caregivers, but as community leaders. Dining for Women will be creating this kind of change when over 50 trained health promoters serve approximately 5,361 people. We have a story of our youngest health promoter. Her name is Rosie. We had not envisioned training someone so young as Rosie, but we believe her story brings to life generational change for women. Buenas tardes. Bueno, mi nombre es Rosilde. Vivo en la comunidad del Paisaje. Cuando entré primera vez al esta proyecto de salud, eh, yo no sabía nada. O sea, a nosotros, no, nuestros profesores nos decían que esto era bueno, esto era malo. Ya ahí íbamos aprendiendo, pero una vez de entré a eso ya fui informándome más cosas y para yo poder así enseñar a mis comunidades y a mis compañeros. Y así fui, estoy aprendiendo más cosas, pero algo lo que me, impre, me impresionó en salud fue soturar. Eh, soturar porque, como ven, tengo una herida aquí en mi frente. Eh, eh, 
yo, cuando, yo ahí eh, pienso, yo dije que no, que no hubo una oportunidad más de que fue más ay, antes que me haya hecho esto, que no, que no vinieron de esta proye para así que no quede así catriquidado y poder que me lo suture. Eh, mi comunidad ha cambiado porque más antes era en busca, o sea, mo movilidades, quién, quién tenía moto y así porque tenía a su hijito, se le enfermaba, iban caminando hasta la otra comunidad y ahí el sol caliente se, en en se enfermaban más y bueno, eh, no ha servido de mucho a la comunidad. Eh, y gracias al ETA Project ya, ya sabemos más y podemos ayudarnos entre comunidades. The reach that Dining for Women has to change the lives of women all over the world is so very impressive. ETA Projects is grateful and honored to be one of the organizations representing the huge impact that Dining for Women can make in rural Bolivia. Mm -hmm.